Hello everybody, today I am bringing you a collaboration video with Genia Be Me. Uh, she's a good friend of mine in the blog world and we decided to team up to do a orange as the new black makeup tutorial. She's going to do Alex and I'm going to do Piper and I'm going to get started right into it. I'm doing the cover of the or her little ad for the season 2 because it just started and we both finished it already. Um, but I'm just prepping my skin, already did a little tinted moisturizer, and now I am getting the imperfections sort of worked out with the Laura Mercier concealer. Now I'm taking the Hourglass Dim Light Ambient Lighting Powder, and I'm buffing that all over. It's like my favorite setting powder, period. There's no specific reason that I'm using it other, but other than I like it. Um, this is the matte baked bronzer from Milani in Sunset. It's the lighter one. And originally my plan, I was just going to go all over and do some bronzing because in that picture, she's a little tan looking, even though she's been in jail. Um, so I went all over with that. And then I decided I want to start doing some contouring because she has some definite contouring going on. So I went and got the 07 Sienna. It's a darker shade. So I do the contouring with that. Okay, so now I'm going to take a Merle Norman blush and use my Sephora Pro 50 brush to blush. <laughs> okay, I'm going to use the Sephora 50 Pro brush to uh, dust that on my cheeks. I'm going to give all the details on the shades in my actual blog post. But now I'm going to prep my eyes with the NARS um, eyeshadow primer. And while that is setting up in place, I'm going to go ahead and get into the brows. I'm using the uh, Pixie, um, I think it's called Natural Brow Duo, and this is in the soft black shade, and it has been my favorite lately. It is so easy to just put right on, and the color, even though it says soft black, it's not black. It's just perfect. It, uh, my hair is really, really dark brown, but it's not black, and it's really hard for me to find a good dark brown, you know, brow. But anyway. So now I'm using the NARS Araclion, um eyeshadow pencil and I'm just putting that on as a color base because I'm going to be using some chocolatey taupey browns and I just wanted, I don't know, I wanted to use it. <laughs> so um, that is that and after I apply this I'm going to go in with the Merle Norman um, eyeshadow trio and I believe it's called Charming or something like that. I can't really remember. But like I said, all that information will be in the blog post that's going to be going along with this. And anyway, I'm going to just dust that all over my lid. This is the middle shade. And um, just give myself just some color. Because in that picture, she has just some brown eyeshadow on. Nothing you can really tell. But I feel like I'm trying to make it look sort of chocolatey and brown like hers. Um, anyway, then I go in with a fluffy brush and go into the crease with that darker shade from the trio. And if you see me keep looking at my phone, I'm just trying to get a good feel for what her makeup was so I can replicate it pretty well. Thank you. 
Okay, so I'm taking some nude liner to my waterline because that's what it looks like is on hers. And a bronzy brown shade for eyeliner on the top lid because that is also what she looks like she's wearing. And I'm smudging that in with a Sonia Kashuk smudger brush. And now I'm taking the Essence um, eyeshadow. Whoa, that's really quick. <laughs> anyway, and just highlighting my inner corner. And now I'm also taking an Essence um, mascara, the big lash, I think is what it's called. And um, going in just to do some mascara. Her look is all about the eyes, so that's what I'm pretty much trying to replicate. And after I do this, I'm putting on the gloss. Um, it's also a Merle Norman gloss. Like I said, all that information is going to be in the blog post. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the look. It was a fairly simple look, but I don't know. I love orange is the new black, so I wanted to do something related to that. And I know so did Eugenia. So anyway, I hope that you enjoyed the look. And go ahead and go over to her or Eugenia's YouTube channel and see her Alex inspired look. And also check out the blog post if you wanted to know about anything that I used in depth. So there you have it. Have a wonderful day and go ahead and subscribe.